In this video, we will see how to do in-order traversal of a binary tree, but we will not use recursion as we had seen in our earlier lessons. So let's see how we can do it without recursion. So when we do it with recursion, implicitly we are uh, using stack, the recursion stack, when we are calling one function uh, nested into other. For example, if this is the root node, we had seen the definition of in-order where we used recursion and we called in order on left subtree and then when this in order returns completely so this in order of this two will in turn call its left and now left is null so it will uh, start returning back so after left part returns we printed roots data and then we call in order of root right so it visits uh, so when we call in order for one it calls for two it calls for four and now there is no left so it returns and prints four and then it calls for right subtree where there is only seven so seven will be printed and then this call to four will return back to two and then 2 will be printed and there is no right subtree so this will return back to 1 and then this 1 will be printed and then again same thing for the right subtree but we are not allowed to do this so what we have to do we have to replicate this using a stack so we know that in a stack whatever we put last is the one which is popped first uh, so what we will do we will keep a stack initially it will be empty and we can have uh, a pointer let's say current node which will start from root so the signature of the function will should remain the same we have to just change the implementation so current we will initialize to root so this is again in order root And uh, while current is there, we will keep uh, pushing it into the stack. So initially one is there, so stack will hold one. And after pushing, so after pushing it on the stack, what we will do, we will make current equal to its left. So first we push to one to the stack, then current comes here then again we push into the stack then current comes here so we are making current equal to currents left now left is not there so we uh, we when we push 4 and we make current equal to currents left current becomes null because left of 4 is null so uh, when current becomes null so there will be a loop which will run till current is there and when this loop ends and in this loop we are just pushing it into the stack and making current equal to its left and when current becomes null we will start popping it from the stack so we will pop it and also print it so this will be equivalent to uh, this uh, in order on left reaches the end and then it starts traversing back so we print the popped element whatever we popped and then make current equal to its right and again this loop will run where current is not null so in this case it uh, current becomes null after pushing 1 2 and 4 so we print 4 after popping it so 4 is now popped 4 is gone from the stack only 1 2 is there and current becomes currents right which is 7 and again this loop will run till current is null so we will push 7 into the stack and make current equal to its left which is null now again current becomes null so this loop will again end and we will pop the, this element so 7 will be popped 
we will print 7 and we will make current equal to its right which is null so again uh, current is null so this loop will not execute at all it will again pop and now 2 will be popped and it, we will print 2 and current is now current's right which is 2's right again null so we will again pop which is 1 is popped and we will print it and now we will make current equal to its right which is 3 and till current is there we will keep pushing it into the stack so 3 is now pushed into the stack and current becomes its left which is 5 so 5 is also pushed then current becomes its left which is null so we will pop 5 print it here and uh, make its right as current which is null so again we will pop 3 and uh, make current to its right which is 6 and then repeat this loop so we will push 6 to the stack and then again uh, do this uh, its left is null so it will straight away pop 6 and it will terminate so if you don't understand this just try it on uh, one another example and it will be clear so let's write the code for this so uh, here it's the same example that uh, I have been using for different traversals and uh, the tree node structure which consists of left pointer right pointer and a data element and this was the earlier implementation of in order traversal using recursion uh, we will create a new implementation where we will not use recursion let's call it stack because we will be using stack directly here and we need to include stack here so this stack will hold node pointers and then we have one current node same as what we saw in the example which is root and then we were doing some operation uh, continuously what we were doing uh, we were inserting into the stack the current node and making current equal to its left until we reach the end and this will uh, correspond to this first call to in order left so when we reach the end we would have inserted 1, 2 and 4 into the stack so once we reach the end uh, this loop ends so while current we push the current into the stack so I am just uh, writing step by step whatever we have seen in the explanation and then current equal to currents left and this will keep on going and when it will reach the end there is no left node then we come out of this and what we do we start we pop just one element why we pop just one element because you see when once we are done with the left in order we reach the end we print the current node so when we reach till the end we now uh, 4 was the last element that was inserted in the stack so when we pop 4 will we popped out so we will print 4 and then uh, repeat the same for the right subtree of popped elements so current equal to s not top we get the top element then pop the same element and we print the value of this node and do the in order for its right subtree so we just do this once and once again uh, this entire loop will execute until current is there 
and we will do this till current is there or S is not empty. And finally, let's add a new line here. And now we will run in order for with and without recursion on the same tree. And let's compare the results if they are same or not. So you see that both the results are same. So we have replicated the recursion behavior using an explicit stack in the code. You can again uh, go through a few examples if it's not clear. And I think it's pretty straightforward and it should be clear. You will see that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between this definition and what we have done in this lesson.